Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've been really wanting a shadow box for all my ticket stubs that I've been saving for a long time. And I was really surprised this Christmas when I opened up the shadow box that John had hand built. Stick around and we'll show you how I did it. First, I started at the miter saw, cutting the 45 degree miters on my 1x4. Setting a stop block helps ensure both side pieces are the exact same size at 11 inches. Then I moved my stop block and made the top and bottom piece cuts at 9 inches from the outside corners. Then, after a quick dry fit to make sure everything lined up perfect, he used a chamfer bit in the router to add a little detail on the inside front of the frame. The glass for the box actually came from a $2 picture frame from Walmart, which was definitely the cheapest option. To cut the groove for the glass to sit in, I set the table saw blade height at a quarter inch and set the fence at three inches and then ran all four pieces through. Here you can see how the box will go together with the glass sitting inside. With the glass ready to go, next he needed to cut a rabbit in the back of the frame for the back panel to sit in. He set the fence right at the edge, ran all four pieces through, and then bumped the fence over to take another pass. This made the back panel sit perfectly flush inside the frame. Then he went on to cut the quarter inch wide slot in the top board, first drilling the two ends and then making the connecting cuts with a jigsaw. Before the box was ready to assemble, I went ahead and painted the inside to make it easier. I taped off the miters to help make sure the glue would still stick. And while that was drying, I went ahead and used a Cricut machine to cut a vinyl stencil and sprayed it with frosted glass. I mirrored the stencil so I could put it on the inside of the glass and everything would face the right direction from the outside. It's hard to tell here in the videos and pictures, but it does look really good in person. With the glass and inside of the box dry, it was ready to assemble. I laid all four pieces out edge to edge on top of painter's tape and then spread glue on the corners. This worked really good and made it much easier to get everything lined up and pulled together tight. With the tape holding everything tight and since I'm painting it, I went ahead and shot a few brad nails in the corners and then filled them with wood filler. Double checking to make sure his math was right. The last cut needed to make was the back panel. It should be 8 by 10, but he went ahead and made it slightly smaller to make it easier to remove. After light sanding, the outside was ready for a few coats of paint. I almost had a heart attack when I watched this part, but he had contact paper on the glass to protect it. To finish this thing up, I wanted the back panel to be removable. I couldn't find any button locks like you would see on the back of a picture frame, and my cheap Walmart frame didn't have any, but I did find these little key charms at Hobby Lobby, and I think they look pretty cool. 
I went around and put one on all four sides and this quick little project was done. So we're gonna take this inside and fill it with all my tickets. We'd really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to John's channel. I'll also have all the dimensions and materials used as well as the tools I used in this build in the video description below. Thanks.